Stefan. And I'm Michael Mandel. My name was there. I'm on TV. It's true. Incredible. It's a shame, but yeah. Yes. What? This is our, our Halloween show, Michael. Could have fooled me because, you know, we can't... All that stuff is CGI'd. Yes. True. Yeah, I can't tell. Including kind of, you. Yes. Hello there. And uh, so, welcome to our Halloween show. Uh, let me ask you, Michael. Do you have uh, to read this one? Okay. What do you get when you, when you divide the circumference of a jack-o'-lantern by its diameter? Pumpkin pie? Oh, that's right. Really? Pumpkin pie. Yeah. Oh, pi. P -I. Yes. Oh, okay. Wow. You got it by accident, didn't you? Yes, I did, because that's what you, you, know, you would you go for. You the circumference. Pie. There's one I was going to tell you, but uh, I'm not going to. What, because we're going to uh, do, uh, what are we going to do? Gin and tonics. Uh, With special gin. Even though it said Uncle Val gin, this is Uncle Val's gin, possessive. And the full title is Uncle Val's restorative gin. Cool. Pick up the, yes, there it is. What's so restorative about it? Well, as you said before, all gin is restorative. Works for me. It's healthy. It gets you back on your feet, even so, if you're sitting down. <laughs> so, <laughs> you might sometimes sees to it that you are sitting down. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. It smells like gin. Very gin-like. Yes. Um, I thought it was going to be blasé, you know, and uh, and uh, no, I, ta I tasted a little of it uh, before Barb and I tried it, and uh, I said, "Wow, man, this could stand up to gin because gin, I mean, stand up to tonic. Tonic just sort of." Waters gin down and but it has a little spark because yeah. it's quinine water. Yeah, it, it it's pretty good. I'm squeezing that for you. I hope Very you don't good. mind. And uh, this is the kind of gin you see everywhere. No, it's in the red, a few journals. Uh, this gin, uh, you can't buy it. I haven't any seen place. it here. The place I bought it was uh, once again Bullock's in TRC. They had it on sale. It's usually like forty two bucks. They had it for thirty which uh, in my world is a good deal. Oh. Darn, Michael, you want to make a... Uh, well, because I thought you were thirsty. Oh, what we're tasting differences of is, okay. uh, aside from Uncle Val's, uh, we're using White Rock, which uh, Mark conveniently told me doesn't have artificial sweeteners, That's like... Uh, Aspartame. Or the other ones, the uh, just modified cornstarch or something. High fructose this corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup. This has pure sugar. Who cane. would ever think we'd be in a world where sugar would be beneficial? Cane sugar. Cane sugar. Well, sugar's not good for you either, but it's the but least... But it's better than other stuff. It's like the, this election, mm. you know, the... The, the least the of, lesser two, of two... The lesser evil. of two evils. Pretty good. Hmm. Too much tonic water, I think. But it's a good gin. Maybe. I think it has to be colder, so I have to wait a little. Um, after the break, we'll come back and we'll do... Uh, we're not going on break, but we, after the break, we will do Q's uh, tonic water made with uh, agave as a sweetener. That's no sweet. sugar, so it's much healthier. Natural plant sweetener. I have not seen that brand before, but you said you got that at Target. Target. You get a four-pack for five bucks. Uh, if you go to Toucan... Might be five bucks there. Might be a little more, a uh, dollar fifty for a little thing of that. Oh, you think Toucan carries that? Toucan, I'm pretty sure has that. Okay. Or something similar. They do have an agave tonic water. Interesting. There's two of them. Oh, we're going to do a show today. We are. I'm wearing this uh, not because it's Halloween. Well, in a way, because it's Halloween. Because it looks more Halloween than Renaissance fair. Well, it is this, a costume of a sort. It's part of my Renaissance fair. So that's what you'll be wearing on Saturday and Sunday. The Renaissance fair. I'll probably fair. Be working my ass off. Yes. Next week. That's next week. That's not on the list yet. We're going to... Oh. Before we go any since further... Since it is Halloween, we'll talk about uh, things that make it Halloween. Well, first off, I just... Death. I just want... Yes. Um, I used to get my hair cut at uh, Jen's Barber Spa downtown. For two years, Lita Lujan took care of me. She trimmed my beard, gave me a shave. She did my hair. Uh, she cut it when I needed it. Look she, at the mess he's in she, now. And now look at me. She took excellent care of me. She did. Until she got ill. She came down with pancreatic cancer. She got ill. She had to actually sell the business. And um, so, Lita, I love you. Unfortunately, Lita passed away. She's no longer with us. Just this week. She died this week. And um, Well, let's drink to Lita. Uh, let's there have I one know. drink to Lita. Clank. Thank you, Lita, for all the hard work you did. Yes. It's I not mean, easy. You did a good job for two years. I'd, I'd, I'd walk into her place looking radio ready, and I'd walk out looking TV ready. So um, that's not just like this guy, just, just like, like him. Yes. Yes. So another. Yes. I'll so miss, miss you, Lita. 
not so close, but also but influential. Tom Hayden died this uh, past week. And former senator? He was a former senator of California. California. Santa Monica, California. But prior to that, he was a uh, found, he Activist. worked with uh, SDS, due to Democrat, what is it? Students for a Democratic Society. A Demonic Society? SDS. SDS. You know, when we were all students, you know, back in the 60s and 70s, uh, we were all for Democratic Society. Well, who wouldn't want that? But they were considered to be radicals. Yes. And then, of course, he was Oh, one they're of only the, radicals because they burned things and threw bombs and stuff. He's also one of the Chicago Seven who were accused well, of, see, of uh, inciting a riot at the uh, 68 Democratic convention, convention, which was really a police riot, as we know now. Well, now we know that you can never tell who's doing the rioting, the police or the uh, standby, the people mm -hmm. standing by. Uh, innocent bystanders is what they are. Um, he also married, did he marry Jane Fonda? He was married to Jane Fonda back in the 80s. As they call her, Hanoi Jane. But <laughs> back when she had but her, I mean, they were married when she had her exercise salons. Jane Fonda workout salons. Good friend of mine Is was, that where you went to get your hair cut in the old days? At the Jane Fonda <laughs> salons? They didn't cut hair. It was strictly her workout. A friend of mine at the time when I lived in uh, California, when I lived in Los Angeles, was one of the teachers at Jane, one of her salons in Santa Monica. That was at the lead of people going to work out, really. It was. I think. And it sort it started of started made her a multi-zillionaire. Right. It did. Because she never would have made money otherwise with a meager uh, movie schedule. No. And then she married a uh, billionaire, Ted Turner. And, and she and, never would have been rich. Uh, and, 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 until she divorced him. Uh, now, you should see her house uh, outside of Santa Fe. My goodness. It's, acre, it's an acre long, big, it's, right? It's wonderful. It? Yeah. In fact, when did you go see it? I saw it profiled is it, in Architectural Digest. Oh, really? But, I thought maybe but, you had a drone. Well, she wouldn't want, have a drone she flying want, over it. She didn't want people to see the inside of her house, but the guest house that had been a uh, barn, they converted that. They, they showed pictures of that. She's got some very expensive paintings in her house. She doesn't want people to see those oh. Picasso's and things. Well, I'm sure she's got a uh, uh, security system, nevertheless. So, but she's not there all the time, you know. Well, why would she be? I mean, what's to do in Santa Fe? More than here, maybe. Gene Hackman lives there. He seems to enjoy quite a bit. Val Kilmer. There's a lot of people who live in Santa Shirley Fe. Shirley McLean. Shirley McLean. And Steve Martin's got a house there. Neil Simon, you know. And my brother had to move out, you know, because <laughs> all those guys moved into where he all was All those living. rich people yeah. just nudged him away, yeah. Huh? Mm. Now, you know, the governor. I do. Had, has slashed the budget. Well, you know, our state's going broke. As not uh, for her as I should be, uh, budget has to be slashed because we don't make enough revenue from oil and gas. Yes, and oil. we possibly won't. But we could make money, well, we could make money from uh, uh, hydro, well, electric from the fans, uh, wind turbine, wind solar. Tur solar. We could uh, legalize marijuana, mm. get taxes from that. That'd be a huge boon like it was in Chicago. You know, in you Colorado. say. You say, well, uh, we don't want to make money off of things that are bad for you. So that would also indicate that uh, mining and getting uh, oil out of the ground and fracking is also bad for you. Of course it is. We made money out of that. Why not make money out of uh, marijuana? We make money off alcoholic beverages, and they're far worse. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't what do I you have mean? no idea what uh, you mean. What do you, I don't know what you're talking about. You're demented. We make um, money off the film business in this, con in this state? Well, yes, you slashed the advertising budget for the state as it pertains to the film industry. Uh, right. So there's other ways to make money. Where my, Well, you know what's good? She, I think she's keeping some of the money in education and taking care of kids. Yes. But she also takes away from a lot of programs. She slashed from help. state agencies such as state museums, uh, state parks. Uh, specialty schools for the blind and deaf. They're well, they out. won't know it because how could they tell? State courts are losing out. Uh, State courts are losing out because criminal nobody's prosecutors. paying for the defense lawyers either in state courts. So, you know, there's going to be a backup in the courts because there's going to be less personnel, so things will be moving along much Well, more you know, slowly. that's good because we make more money on bail that way. When the people skip out? Yeah, people, yeah. Yeah, people pay. We keep their money. Hey, that's the way to do it. Uh, and that's probably not our plan. But uh, she's figuring she's got two more years. What does she care? Well, she doesn't have to be reelected. That's true. She won't be. But it, she, she could, you know, I don't, I don't think. will bring Gary Johnson back because even though you're voting for him, <laughs> I don't think he's going to have that as a uh, I've already voted, Mike. I voted yesterday. I'm not going to ask who you voted for, but since you voted for Gary Johnson. Um, uh, I'm not saying who I voted for. I believe in the secret ballot. The ballot secret, your voting isn't. 
it will it will show. You know what they said uh, about what Roswell people? If if you don't vote, uh, we will know. We the will Republicans know. will know. The Roswell. If you don't vote, yeah, because that's a very right wing area. Well, okay, yes, it is. That's Steve Pierce country. That's right. Steve Pierce, who is a Donald Trump Republican. They, or, bo they yeah. both disrespect women. In fact, Steve Pierce wrote it in his book. He did. He, he believes women should be the slaves. Women, uh, wives men. must be subservient to their husbands. And we all know that's not true, even though you're not married. Um, you're subservient to women all the time. I am not. It's 50-50 it's with me, Really? Michael. Really? I remember your mother. I, I know your sister. You had to be subservient to her. I'm only I'm subservient, sure. you know, when the handcuffs are on and <laughs> the whips come out. Well, that's true. And, but uh, other than that... At least both of you take pleasure. Uh, now, where were we? Back to the governor. Oh, was she doing that too? Well, With I, handcuffs? I'll never tell. You can't throw bottles off uh, uh, balconies in handcuffs. Yeah. Well, I guess you could. Now, our state has also lost its credit rating with Moody's. Oh, it went pretty much because of our budget uh, going awry and not having as much money. We and, went, uh, we went from a triple A rating to double A one. Double, yeah, well that's a, a, a plus, but that's how you rate countries. Moody's actually has a different rating system. It's AA1, which is not bad. It's one below the best you can get. And sort of which we were of, until last week. Yeah, but you know, a lot of people eat choice of meat in their uh, instead hamburger of prime. instead of prime. But sure. they, do they know that there is a prime? In, I don't know. In, well, in hamburger, you know, how much does it really matter? Because you're going to gussy it up with okay, other well, things. Okay, well, it tastes pretty good. It tastes uh, pretty good. There's also other stuff, like the organic stuff tastes actually better than prime. Because it's grass-fed, oh. not corn-fed. Now what else? Oh, yeah. Is that Prince? Oh, are you looking down there or are you looking up here? <laughs> I'm not, I'm, I'm, no, I'll, go, I'll go either way. Let's add no flumist at school. Well, What's a flumist? Is, well, what do they play, a flute? Flumist was what they were giving to students for free in school. Uh, to count, you know, it's a flu vaccine. If you were a kid and you were to choose which to pick from those two, what would you pick? The kids were happy to go. They'd happy to snort. But it turns out snorting that stuff doesn't it's not work as, effective. as effectively as Coke. I mean, as uh, getting a shot. And so they're not going to be giving you the shots. So the, the parents are on their own as to where their child, children are going to be vaccinated. You can do it at Walgreens, you know. Uh, if you have insurance, it's free at Walgreens. And for every shot you get at Walgreens, they donate a free shot to some kid who can't afford it, which oh. could also be your kid. I don't know. I walked, Probably. In, I walked into Walgreens the other day and she said, sir, have you had your flu shot yet? I said, no, and I'm not going to. I walked into my doctor, these are a couple of years, and he says, uh, you get, did you get your flu shot yet? I said, no, I think I'll get it at Walgreens since they give away free shots to the people who need them. And uh, I don't think my doctor did that. I, I doubt so, he does. I doubt, yeah. They're in, the, they're in the business of making money. Yeah, so, and not giving it away. Um, but I believe you should get a flu shot, uh, especially when you're my age. Mark is still young. Whipper sounds like me. He doesn't have to, but, but after you're 65, uh, you're more liable to be uh, uh, able to get the flu. Well, Michael, the flu shot won't protect you from getting the Zika virus. Are we going to talk about Zika or are you just saying that? Well, I'm just saying, yeah. you know. I'm not really worried about getting the Zika virus. I don't plan on giving birth. You still, it's still a flu virus. Oh, but it's not that bad. Well, neither is the flu. Oh, yeah, it is. The flu can cause death. The flu causes many deaths a year. You probably didn't know that because no, I know that. you're paying attention to the 0.0000001% that have some, I guess it's what, mercury poisoning well, you know, or something? Bees kill uh, more people than, you know, the flu, probably. <laughs> bees. <laughs> That's right. So let's take a break. Yes. We'll finish these drinks up. Yes. And come on back. We'll, we'll, we'll try that other drink. Yes. We're looking forward to this. Right. Q tonic. So come on back. We'll look at have more gin and tonics. Right here on Double tonic Talk. Water. Mm, it's pretty good. Hi, I'm Cheryl Burke. And I have a confession to make. I have a serious crush on my workout. Hip, fun, and always a challenge. Jazzercise is the total package. It's the only workout that I've ever truly loved. Does it show? That's because I'm in the best shape of my life. What a difference Jazzercise makes. When's the last time your workout swept you off your feet? Find a class near you at jazzercise.com. Fiesta Motors. 
Come and see us today and discover why our service is second to none. In business for over 17 years, we have the right car for you. When you buy a vehicle from Fiesta Motors, we do everything possible to ensure your satisfaction. Located at the corner of El Paseo and Main. See you there. Celebrate Fiesta Motors. We're buying a car. It's always a celebration. And we're back. This is Double Talk. And, and this is our Halloween and special gin show. Uncle, you know, Halloween, Uncle Val's restorative gin, which is what we're drinking, yes. is, is good because you could, it's sort of like a corpse reviver number two, which revives you just okay. as a... That would be a good Halloween drink. Except I'm not bringing in four different things to mix and shake and, and you know, five different liquors because they need absolutely... All right, let's, folks, look up corpse reviver. There's number, more than one. Yes. Number one... So anybody could revive a corpse once. Look up the corpse reviver drinks and, and at home and make it yourself yes. for Halloween. You just need a little absinthe, which is legal. We're going to do Uncle Val's uh, without uh, a mixer to see how it tastes. Just acapella. Straight. Yeah. Acapella. It's got quite a bouquet, really. It's be it smells better, better than, than that Gordon's gin any day. Slangeva. It's got a big nose there. Yes. I feel restored already. Wow. It's got a it's bit got of a sharp finish. Yes, but, but it has a forward flavor of everything you want. A lot of people don't like juniper. They think they don't like juniper. Right. Well, but this has other flavors too. There's a little bit of cucumber, I think, in here. This is a 45% alcohol gin uh, made in Bend, Oregon. Uh, so it's American, the new American gins. But it's pretty much a, like a London dry gin since you have a strong juniper flavor plus other flavors which sort of modify that juniper. But it doesn't say London dry. No, it doesn't because it's not made in London. Well, Plymouth gin. Can you tell me Tanqueray is? Maybe, maybe. This is good by itself. Although drinking gin by itself. You know, it would have been better. Be dangerous. If it was a squeeze of lemon again. I'm going to do a squeeze of lemon. Oh, or squeeze lime, it, rather. squeeze it. In you want advance. to do it on the bottom? I'm going to do it in advance. Do you want it before the ice? Yes. A squeeze of lime always helps. A squeeze of lime is good. One of the good things about Rangpur gin, which is made by Tanqueray. Ray, oh, Ra Ra Ranjapur? Rangpur. 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 Uh, it makes it, me think of the, of the movie, The Range of Ranjapur. But you might Mark be Gable. wrong there. Maybe not. Anyway, Ranjipur. Ranjipur. That's in. It's so if, if you have uh, if you have Rangpur gin, you don't need lime because it's got the great flavor of lime. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be dangerous. This next part. Well, because uh, open it over to the side. Wait. Why you? Okay. Sounds safe. Just a scotch. Whoop. Okay. We gotta wait till it gets cold. Of course, then the ice cubes start melting. That's true. Well, okay, shall we? Sure. Hmm. Interesting. I can't taste it that it's much. It's completely different. I can't taste the uh, tonic. Can you taste the tonic? You didn't put as much in yours as you did in mine. Because you told me not to. I just do, you know, you know, whatever you ask. Oh, uh, see, no, no yep. lime. See, you need the lime. lime. You do need the lime. It really adds a flavor of dimension to it. So, to make uh, gin and tonics uh, available to other people who can't get a hold of Val's, Uncle Val's, restorative gin, you could use. Uh, let me think of which gins you could use. Tom. Oh, any gin. Old Tom. You don't waste Old Tom, really. Old Tom is a very uh, vanilla. -y. Your ghost uh, is still down. Which ghost? <laughs> Your ghost in the back wall. Oh, on my side? Yeah. Very scary. Must mm. have had too much gin. I think the sugary one is better, maybe. Mm. I know you're loath to admit that, well, but I think there's more flavor in that. You know what I should do is try that separate by itself, which I'll do after the show. We'll do that. Or Okay. We, oh, we're still here at the show. We just don't come here to drink and talk to each other. But we do, really. you got to no. give us a hand for that. <laughs> There. Give us a big hand. Finger food. You almost arrested me. Um, 
Yeah. Oh, we, we have news here uh, on stuff. What do we have? Well, no. you know, you know I, I was reading today that... You read. ...that people, uh, four in ten of Trump supporters claim that they will not recognize Hillary Clinton as president when she's elected. Which is a lot better than the That's other... That's American. But it's a lot better than the other president because I think nine out of ten people never recognizes, recognize Obama because he was black. So it shows that the, the prejudice against women is less than against black in America. Let me read something here from The New Yorker. Do you have a few seconds here? About, this is this week's New Yorker. Uh, on November 8th, barring some astonishment, the people of the United States will, after 240 years, send a woman to the White House. The election of Hillary Clinton is an event that we will welcome for its immense historical importance and greet with indescribable relief. It will be especially gratifying to have a woman as commander-in-chief after such a sickeningly sexist and racist campaign, one that exposed so starkly how far our society has to go. The vileness of her opponent's rhetoric and his record has been so widely aired that we can only hope she will be able to use her office and her impressive resolve to battle prejudice wherever it may be found. So, so there is an inherent, you know, we, we deny the prejudice against black people. So we have to look far for prejudice and, and, and hatred. But there's prejudice against women being strong. Everybody resents strong women. I, however, am uh, uh, partial to it. Well, so, uh, yeah, sure. I, uh, I, like, I like strong, smart You're like a women. strong, smart woman like strong, smart who has worked all her life to uh, try to do things that are good for uh, people, children, and... Uh, even when she tried to do a healthcare thing on her own, uh, it was for people. It wasn't for her to make money. It was to try to help people get healthcare. Healthcare is what a necessity. It's not a right, because yeah. if you are a Unitarian, you would say, we, we don't get rights, you earn rights. Well, no, but in, in most other uh, civilized countries, it is a right. Well, our, because our, they made it a right, yes. Well, our, our healthcare system is ranked 36th in the world. So uh, that's pretty embarrassing, if you ask me. It is. I, I'm ashamed to be seen outside America. <laughs> ashamed know. to be healthy in yes, America. Yes, yes. So, uh, and speaking of America and uh, this uh, clown and uh, pumpkin. Speaking, okay, what, 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 what holiday we, are we in? We are in, oh, I'm pointing to the pumpkin, but, uh, oh, there he is. Same, same well, color. Yeah, same thing. Uh, there's a little bit of light in that guy's eyes. Uh, it's Halloween. It and is. And we're, why do we celebrate Halloween? Well, Why do we? End of October, it's going to get cold. You know, the Jewish holidays celebrating the change of season are kind of over. There are no real Christian holidays celebrating it, except for the Catholic holiday of Dios de well, Muertos. Used, well, the, this used to be a pagan holiday called Samhain. And Samhain? Samhain. Is that when you were a pagan? And, uh, you know, the, the Christians stole most of the pagan holidays and made them their own, like Christmas and, and Easter and all those. Yeah. And... Uh, but uh, so this is a time when you you uh, pay homage to the dead. Good idea, because they the souls are. You know, when it starts getting dark early, you kind of people always were eating ergo. Remember the theory about ergo, which was a LSD type thing that grew at the bottom of rye bundles, oh. and you'd go nuts. Aldous Huxley wrote about it, and in the medieval times, people would have this slight bit of LSD. Uh, natural, natural acid. Na natural acid, and uh, you live in a woods, and you see things happening because it's dark and scary. So, speaking of dark and scary, uh, you don't know where I'm going next here well, because you have something to go to. But now would be a good time to mention uh, uh, Teddy Aspen Sanchez's birthday. Our own Teddy Aspen has nothing to do with Halloween, although we can make reference to that, but we won't. He's he was the co-host before Michael appeared on the scene. Yes. And uh, then he had to go back to college, so he, yes. he had to step out, and Michael kindly stepped in. And um, I, I invited him onto the show today, but he does... Teddy, come back, please. We, he, yes, he really needs you. He's somebody who's cogent and knows his language. But, but Teddy had to do something that I find a four-letter word. Work. Oh, my God. God. Horrible. Um, yes, yeah, so happy birthday, Teddy. We are having a drink for you, like you insisted. <laughs> yes. I wasn't going to bring anything today, but Teddy insisted that oh. we drink something. Well, that's the case. I better have one yeah, more better, for Teddy. You know. You're going to drink something straight. And so... Don't kill all my by the way, By the way, Monday. It was coming Monday, being Halloween and all. Uh, down at the county building on Motel Boulevard, 
the county government building. They're having the uh, the uh, Halloween Fest and Wellness, wellness. Fair. And uh, there's going to be free candy, there will be food trucks, live music, there will be uh, healthcare uh, vendors and booths. That's funny, healthcare vendors, most of those food trucks are hamburger vendors. And, and so, we know how you think well, hamburgers should be. You gotta treated. be healthy if you're gonna eat that stuff. Yeah. And there'll be a lot, many law enforcement uh, representatives there on hand. For be, what? For what? Probably what recruiting, I don't oh, know. Yeah. Probably frisking people. And this is from 5.30 in the evening until 8 o'clock. Uh, should be a lot of fun down there if you've got nothing else to do. You can take the kids down there for a nice, safe uh, place for them to get their candy. You can start out the trick or treating there, have a bite to eat, and then Halloween. go and then, on through of course, the night. Of course, don't forget, next weekend, uh, Renaissance Fair. Great thing. Starts at 9 o'clock Saturday and Sunday. That's next true. weekend, not this weekend. Now, also in conjunction with Halloween is Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. And that's going on is in the an example Sia. of the dead? No. Well, um, yes. Well, What's that, the two of you together. Would, yeah, and it's going to be, yes, Day of the Dead. Zika virus. Dia de los Muertos has a big uh, celebration down at the Mesilla Plaza over at Old Mesilla. And uh, all weekend. All Is that weekend. the 16th of September day? No, no, no. I don't know what Dios de los Muertos day means. Does that dead. means, oh, Day of the Dead. And that's, the, well, that was last night, today, and tomorrow. There's activities going on all day down there. There's food, music, a lot of vendors, a lot of displays. People uh, erect these altars for their loved ones, including pets. And uh, <laughs> Don't very, look at me when you say pets. Very artistic altars with pictures and, and uh, depictions. It's very That's interesting. True. Something you only see in places like Messina. <coughs> it's a Hispanic tradition for the most part. Now, also around town are the corn mazes. We have two of them here. And there's one down in La Union. <coughs> You all right, Michael? That's a cashew right there. <laughs> <coughs> the uh, La Union Corn Maze. Do my maze, maze thing. Do my maze thing. And uh, ma the maze thing. Corn maze. and maze are the same thing. That's right. Stop talking. And then we have the, the maze. You, you bugged that. <coughs> the maze down in La Union is at uh, 1100 Highway 28. And it costs $12 to get in. Whoa. The one on West Picacho, that's 3855 West Picacho. That's $10 to get in. How much to get out? Yeah, well, you have to find your way out. Good luck with that. And with that, I think our show is over, Michael. I happy think happy your, National your, Cat your Day. Your day is over, too. I, yeah, my, yes. my show is over. Today is National Cat Day. Meow to you. And uh, we'll see you next week right here on Double Talk, I guess. My voice is back. I can talk again. I can talk again. You always were an announcer. I, think I can crawl again. I can remember that movie? What? What movie are you talking about? A scary movie? No, not a scary movie. Well, whatever. It was done by... Uh, Robert Downey.